funny. That'd be really like, fun. Honestly, I just I love like goofy rules, like move sets, and oh, I feel hey, like Jimbo. I'm <laughs> just like yeah. pie, pies you in the face, throws oh ducks God. at you. I've I been am... watching a little bit of the uh, the Ooh. character play, the gameplay yeah. for that game. So and it, I mean, it looks good. The Slap City developers feel like they put they a put lot love of love into, into it. One hundred percent. But I'm really excited, of course. You got your homeboy. I feel like it's always been either Tri-State versus Tri-State or MDVA. We're having a lot of good reps tonight. Yeah, no, for and sure. And so, again, this isn't just MDVA for Peanut. This is, like, the Wi-Fi community in a way. So he gets, he's getting love from a lot of different directions. I mean, he propelled into stardom, went to Summit as a VIP. Yeah. Just, like, instantly. So credit where credit's due. But... It's not going to be easy. We're seeing some fists being thrown because uh, we're fighting. We're playing some fighting characters. These two are about to scrap. Yeah, we are definitely about to fight here. Little Even Mac versus boat. Ryu. Huh? I you like know that. what? Let me guess. PS2. Battlefield. This is so interesting because Mac does well on Battlefield. People think he doesn't. But Peanut has shown very handily this is like one of his favorite stages because you can get a lot done on Battlefield. Rain, I always like to talk about this, especially in this game. I feel like it's a lot of time, sure, it's character choice, but I feel like if you take that time and you spend a lot of time with a character, you can uncover some, definitely some like wonky stuff. And yes. just from what I've seen from Peanut, because I was watching him when he played on stream a little bit earlier, his movement, the way he's able to move around the stage with such a limited character yep. is insane. It's so nutty. I'm interested to see how exactly this is going to go. Sandstorm right now getting a little tripped up, but he is going to recover low, not going to be able to get hit by that down smash. So here we go with his own little fireball there. Exactly. Now, 90% is basically kill percentage, so you got to be careful around Mac, especially in the ways that he not can really find it on you. And speaking of, Kale Punch is more than available. I'm not even sure if he's going to try to use it this stock, even if he can. If you can pull it off, you know, more than Mary, but sometimes he's just, he's really good at holding on to it. Ooh. Ooh. Not quite finding up the shore, uses a lot of damage, evening up 101 apiece. Alright, here we go. I like the way Sandstorm plays a little slow. I feel like a lot of the times I see a lot of Shotos just kind of like run in and start throwing kicks, and I feel like Sandstorm really waited there. I mean, he did end on the other side of Peanut, thus resulting in the stock. Fair enough. But I do recognize the fact that I feel like Sandstorm is giving him respect. It's not just another little Mac, you know? And at the same time, not many people play Ryu. So it's very interesting if you lack the matchup knowledge, uh, match knowledge, but at the same time, we have a Ryu in region, so maybe Peanut is a little bit of experienced in this sort of thing. Living at 144, too, by the way. Like, look at this man's move. Again, movement on the platforms is really big. Yeah, it's definitely something oh. that he's got to keep in mind for counter picks as well. So far, uh-oh. Oh, oh <laughs> he just went through the really? Really? You're dead. Wow. Uh, bottom tier, guys. We swear. What is bottom tier? What these even is days, it? Right? It's a it's a mentality, honestly. It's, it's <laughs> not a not a place for characters. You don't play a bottom tier. You just have a bottom tier mentality. <laughs> Actually, yeah. If you think about That's it. That's my new favorite quote. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're going to see a little bit of, may I say, footsies. Yes, um, you can, actually. Between both of these and, players yeah. and the Shoryu is going to take him up. And here we go, starting on next stop. But Sandstorm right now trailing by a lot. Exactly. The thing is, uh, Peanut can turn a lead into a game very quickly. and Because Mac is an explosive character. Hits like a truck, amazing frame data. Like, look at that. Just Now you're off stage. You took like 20% instantly. Uh -oh. I like that. Here we Ooh, go. I like Got that. The extension. Oh, no jab lock either. But I don't think, I don't know how much Ryu could have gotten off of that. But that was creative. Ooh, that's uh -oh. really big. Oh, yeah. the fireball. He has the KO punch, though. He's no, back. He's, back. He's, he's back. He's back. Wow. He has the KO punch on deck as well. This could be it. Let her rip. Let it rain. And <laughs> he did, but not quite. Uh, not much. Uh, only a drizzle, unfortunately, for that KO punch. Not quite finding anything substantial. Has that kill punch. And again, he can do that. He can do the uppie on that platform right there, and he can kill with it. He's been doing it a lot like of times. That. He's been catching Sandstorm, kind of a falling on his shield. Smash players, please stop falling on people's shields. Please but stop. It, we see it all the time. It's dangerous. Just grab them. I can't say this enough. Please start grabbing. Your mm -hmm. gameplay will improve. It really will. <laughs> that's at the uh, Maryland Arcadian. That Dexter was walking on and just be like, you guys will be better if you just grab. Yeah. Like, that's going to improve your game a lot. And again, that's another reason why to pick Battlefield. Mac uppie will kill you. Very, uh, even though that wasn't early, but at early percentage, it will still will kill you there. So you need to be careful. Yeah, I just love the way that Peanut plays. Honestly, yeah, it just seems patient. very methodical, right? A lot of people describe him as a boxer, and it would be an apt description. Methodical, very decisive with his blows, knows when to not hold his punches, and knows when to really just go for the heavy hitting stuff. Yeah, so, no, for sure. And he's put a lot of work in the character. You can see it from his recovery game to his movement to a lot yeah. of stuff. I thought he was about to pick Hero. I saw Hero. I was like, huh? I played Dragon Quest XI recently. Hey. I highly recommend. So good. One of the best good game games. experiences I've played in a while. But let's see where we're going. All right. I agree with this pick, Rain. Yeah. How about you? I think so. 
I think this could be... This could go either way, because again, Max is going to kill a lot off the sides. But at the same time, platforms can be really, really good for Sandstorm. Yeah, no, and, for sure. And also a little bit wider stage if you want to put some distance between yourself and Mac. I do have to say, though, when the stage is going to transform, I'm interested mm -hmm. to see how exactly Peanut's going to make that move to his his advantage here. But once again, the platforms are further apart, so thus limiting Peanut's movement options, which I think is pretty smart. Yep. But Sandstorm is off stage. Down smash, not going to connect. No focus punch, and managed to avoid the forward smash in turn. Oh, I like that, actually knocking him out of that, because again, that has super armor on it. That has armor, you need to be careful around it. You need to be careful of that KO punch as well. A lot of things to Ooh. be careful of. Honestly, yeah. it's Max is a scary character. I think a lot of people that uh, knock characters as bottom or low tier, they still are very scary, because you need to know what to do. Sure, you can is going to connect, and we're going nice. to see Sandstorm up for the first time to set. Peanut taking a second. I feel like more players need to do that. Just take a second and go, okay. Just take a breath. Yeah, take a breath. Clear your mind. I think in-game people need to take more time as well. You got seven minutes on the clock. Make it count. Yeah, right. It's true. All right, here we go. Zero, zero. Once again, this has just been the game of waiting between both of these players, and it's still really enjoyable. All right. Got a little bit of fireball. Just got to go. Why not? A little smidge of percent there. Ooh. I like that. Neutral get up getting snuffed out. Oh my and canceling. god. And canceling. He went backwards. Other with side? Oh. Up the out. Oh my god. Still able to avoid it. A little bit of ledge play here, Rain. Yeah, it's been a little, a little weird. He's a little like, he's, he's poking at him, dancing a little bit. Uh -oh, okay, you gotta watch that. Yep, KO punch on deck. You need to be careful. All right, here we go. Sandstorm realizing that. Gonna take a more aerial approach right now. Makes sense. And knocking him out. Ooh. I like that, you know, kind of avoiding the counter just bit by bit. All right, going to hit with the classic Ryu b, b Once again, both of these players are just playing so slow. I love it. Like, they're really taking their time with their combos, and, and it's truly adaptation. We're watching adaptation in real time. It's so beautiful to see. And Sandstorms are way better this game. You can, again, slowing it down, you can really feel how Peanut's trying to react to that, trying to slow it down in turn, trying to find some momentum in his own way. Because Peanut plays, you know, he can play very fast and very hot. He can blow up your stocks in a second if you're not prepared. But looking a little bit tough. Get punished for that counter. I don't know, but oh, I just want to say Peanut's B and B is so creative. Like I feel like he's able to get some strange options that I haven't seen from other Little Max off on single hits. So once again, it's just been really enjoyable to watch a player like this. But he's got to watch that. Ooh, conversion into a quick little uh, DP. That Sandstorm evening it up, 1-1. One, one. The crowd's starting to pop off a little bit. Got some fans in there as well. Yeah, you definitely have Pennsylvania sitting right behind him. I'm seeing a lot, of our, a lot of our players getting A lot moved. of PA, try saying MD, really just kind of. We love coming in with DBA. It's, it's an it's easy nice. drive. Bro. This is a nice venue. It's either down the, down the turnpike or just across Pennsylvania, right down. Took us not too long last night, so. I love visiting this region. It's a good region to visit. I'm blessed to be born and raised in this venue, honestly. <laughs> I went to one Smash 4 local when I was a wee bab in, wee bab. Uh, in the old Xanadu venue. Oh, with the bright green walls, mm -hmm. bro. I went 0-6 in and round robin pools at a monthly. I'm so proud of I won you. one game. <laughs> that's why and you're I a commentator. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm a commentator. <laughs> as soon as I lost ever, as soon as the cat like double two or three stocked me, I was like, I'm gonna be a commentator someday. Yep. Just you wait, and then I just <laughs> and then I did show up for like three, four years until Ultimate came out. Your fate was sealed in that moment. <laughs> it really was. <laughs> A lot of good memories in that in that uh, Xanadu venue. Definitely a lot of good times. But of course, here we are now. The Laurel uh, Racetrack. And it's so beautiful here. Is that is that the um, Moonsiders? Probably. I think I heard. I, I think, think I heard an inkling of it. Yes. yes, it is. I, I, the tech and music is absolutely phenomenal in this game. I love if, if, nothing, okay, what do you guys do? Okay, first, okay, what was shield that? Shield checking. What was that? Shield checking. I don't know. Just vibing with the boys, just shielding. <laughs> shielding with the boys. <laughs> shielding with the boys. What do you think about this no pick, detour. Rain? Let's talk about stage real quick. I kind of get it. You still have platforms, but also you have that uh -oh. smaller zone, so Peanut can close the distance instead of dealing with that larger space town. That's oh. raw for Peanut. Not a zero to death, but it might as well be. Oh my god. This is rough, Lyric. MDVA's uh, Mac Main is starting to struggle in this game three. Yeah, a little bit, but he is able to kind of bring Sandstorm off. Once again, it's Sandstorm is now playing the waiting game. He mm -hmm. says, you know what? You know your stuff, but uh, I'm not going to approach anyone. Exactly. Uh, earlier you mentioned young players not really having the stamina, being impatient. Peanut still on that young side, still kind of at the really? beginning of his career, you know, uh, in in this region, you know, and in Smash. So for okay, okay, relax, <laughs> relax, so Sandstorm, relax, buddy. I can't say that I'm not surprised. Unfortunately, that's Pennsylvania. We're, for we're, you. Hey, we're having fun here. And he gets rid of the camp punch. That's 
that's what that's what he did it for not yeah. to be bm at all just hey to no get hey the, the mental <laughs> game is half the battle so if you know how to use and abuse it you can get some stuff yeah no for sure that's definitely one of the things that i don't think people take into account is physically tilting your opponent can, <laughs> can be a really big advantage but once again we're just gonna see the the neutral between these two players just going to you know hang out and have a good time and just, you know, explore the stage together. Just say, hey, let's go a little tour. Take the scenic route to winning this game, you know? Right, a lot of go. pressure. Yeah, so much just... pressure, but also so much spacing between both. Yeah, it's just a lot of uh, long bouts of not interacting, and then a lot of close scrapping, a lot of that interaction, and then we just go back. Really picking and choosing their battles, very hot and cold in those moments. That's uh -oh. it, down a full stock now. Peanut, what are you going to do? All right, he's going to take a second, breathe once again. What do, like you, what do you think about him not utilizing the platforms as much? I feel like we saw really before he was just hanging out on the platforms. Now, now a lot of platforms. Not. I think it's that top platform that really adds a layer of protection depending on how you want to play it. A little uh -oh. bit of extra movement going up top side. That's going to be a lot of percentage on that final stock. He's got to watch that though. Sandstorm is ready. Oh, oh kind of attack. I don't necessarily agree with the option, but Peanut is the better player than me. Oh, okay. Can I go through? Oh, it's first grab. grab that we're going to see. Honestly, yeah. Okay, I'll punch on deck, though. This is the, this could be a game changer. This is the equalizer, really. Ooh, He's got to use it now. Or Sandstorm is just going to, you know, have a have a little uh, tent on the platforms. Not finding it. Not going to be able to. And this is like kind of that cat and mouse game now that you're going to be able to see with Little Mac. Oh! That's insane. He no, he, yeah, he's living. He has I'm the jump. I'm surprised. I really did think that was going to kill, but not enough rage on the deck. That's oh, huge. That's unfortunate. That was Peanut's win con for this set. Oh, Woo! Sandstorm waiting, Woo! too. You yeah, I that? love the patience because he's a full stock up. He has so little to lose. Yeah. He loses his stock, whatever. I lose rage. Uh, you're still at death's door. But this is a middle night. Okay, never mind. Nope, don't worry. Hey, Woo! one tap is all it takes. He didn't need that stock. And that's Sandstorm taking it 2 1 over Peanut. For sure, that was actually a really good set. I know it, they t they played it definitely a little bit slower than a lot like of that. people would like to see, but there was a lot to talk about there. The way there that was. they were utilizing platforms and then the way that they weren't utilizing platforms, what went wrong there. But once again, I do want to just say that the stage list here um, is going to be kind of bigger. I'm surprised no Lilac Cruz. I know, but like I'm surprised Peanut didn't go to Lilac. I'm not sure he really likes it that much. Does anybody Honestly, like Lilac? Some do. I don't know about all that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a fan, if I should say so myself. I'm not too big on the slants, but I love the plot. I think a lot of stages game have great platform layouts. Sure. But it's just the blast zones or small things to them that just don't make them viable. For example, WarriorWare platforms are really cool, but <laughs> I'm not going to those blast zones ever. I feel like WarioWare has always been one of those stages that's like, we should legalize it. And, and then you like, died 30 to a yeah. command grab from like Incineroar or something or like yep. cargo throw and you just disappear. And you're we like, oh, okay, cool. We haven't Kalos at all. Interesting, yeah. I, I do like Kalos. I think it's really? an interesting alternative to FD. You have those side uh, you have those side platforms that are a unique layout because they suddenly hang over. You have walls for wall jumping.